What's up everybody, Art the Pirate here, and today we're going to play a little Crunch in the Solo Lane. Now I have changed a few things, but let's go over the deck. Auto Health Potion, Fast Travel, Life Steal, Piercing Basic, Healing Towers, and Executioner Rush are my gems. Now for the cards, I have Demolitionist, Living Guardian, The Mother Tree, Flame of Zetchin, Green Spring, Nitro Boost, Growth Totem, Heavy Hitter, Unbroken Spirit, Compensator Rig, and lastly, one of the Tribe. Now, I was originally planning on playing Crunch in the Jungle, so I actually have Jungle Assassin and Jungle Lifesteal in this deck, and I ended up not being able to, so that's why I've changed that in the deck, you know, build, but in the game, I actually don't have those, and you'll see it actually has a pretty big impact, because I am under tower quite a bit, and I'm just not healing up, guys, but other than that, you know, this, this is a pretty solid deck. My plan is I want to put on one of the tribe first, kind of focus that, and then I'll put on Compensator Rig with either Flame or that Growth Totem, and then just kind of build something from there. Maybe go into Unbroken Spirit, or, you know, we'll, we'll see. That That's a very late game. You know, though that's a pretty expensive build. Once you put on that Mother Tree and Growth Totem, or Mother Tree and compensator rig you know those two cards right there are 26 points so you know that, that that's pretty high up so hopefully that will be the build but i'm planning on putting compensator rig on i definitely want to try that out and since crunch doesn't benefit a whole lot from attack speed you know i think that'd be a very solid card and same with mother tree now, I have not played just a ton of Crunch since they kind of gave him that rework. You know, they, they gave him a stun. I haven't played with him a whole lot, and when I have, it's usually been in the jungle. But he is a solid solo laner, and, you know, it, it, that stun, that, that that's that's awesome. You know, it's not quite as good as a steel stun, but it's definitely good. The only issue with Crunch is it takes him a while to come online. You know, Crunch really comes online at level 5. You know, that that older style of, you know, the, the offlaner. You know, kind of like Greystone. Greystone's a beast once he hits level 5, you know, and he can just dive you like crazy. It's kind of the same with Crunch, you know. Until you get your ultimate and you really get those empowered moves, he's just good. So, you definitely want to play safe. You know, it, like right now, having Healing Tower Song would be so good. But... You definitely want to play safe and just try to stay in lane, try to get that farm, let them push to you if they're going to push, and this is going to just get you to level 5 faster, because right now, it's more about hitting level 5 than it is about that farm, and, you know, again, once you hit level 5, you'll really be able to, you know, punish me. Now, I'm sure a couple of y'all Crunch mains out there can tell me about his new rotation, and <laughs> guys, I know, I... I forgot to get forward crunch and it, it's just throwing me off I actually get it at like level six. Oh, oh it feels bad man but i'm sure a few of y'all crunch mains can tell me if y'all how y'all are doing your rotation but you know i i would always do the you know your cleave crunch and then and then i think it's left crunch is the stun and then use your uppercut that, that was always my rotation but I have found that using, you know, a stun, re-crunch, and then the other crunch where you rake your hands across the ground, I actually found that is it, it does pretty solid damage, and it seems to be a decent stun. Of course, if you're in a group, instead of, you know, just fighting someone solo, you definitely want to do that knock-up because you might, you know, get both of them or be able to switch targets, things like that. But if you're fighting someone solo, I, I've definitely seen where you can just use two stuns and in that ultimate or you know your ultimate rake where you know it seems like it does pretty decent now I went and you know just tested the waters against that Quang right there and he's still you know with his life steal he, he's definitely heading back up and you know I'm, I'm not really able to mess with Quang all that much I am gonna go ahead and get some power cards on we have a Kalari in the jungle so you know I haven't had near the rotations that 
you know, I would have liked it. it. We definitely could have got a kill by now because, you know, Gwang has been pushed up so far. And especially since I've hit level 5, you know, we, we could definitely make something happen. But we're just kind of waiting around, you know, making sure that we're staying safe. And then we're going to back whenever we absolutely have to. And sure enough, he, he's able to get that poke, so we need a back. Now, this pack is going to allow me to put on Nitro Boost and Demolitionist, and what what do y'all want to bet that he's not going to expect this damage? <laughs> and so, we're going to go ahead and start playing aggressive. You can see, I'm, I'm going to take this lane out, and again, we're going to go in on Quang. I'm going to wait till my stun comes off of cooldown, and then hit him with that uppercut. Now, re-crunch him, stun him again, and boom we're almost able to take him out. And you can see that that rotation, if we would have just done it a little bit better, we would have definitely taken him out. But we kind of messed it up a little bit. That's no problem. You know, he's definitely going to have to back. And with this power spike, hopefully I'll be able to actually shove this lane and get a significant amount of damage on this tower. You can see we've got a ton of ranged minions right now. So with him backing, you know, that, that that's gonna give me ample time to actually, you know, work on this tower. And then, you know, I do notice Chimera is over on that duo side of the map. You can see he popped up there for a second, so I'm really not worried about him showing up. And now he's in mid lane. He's heading over to me, but I'm going to get this tower before he gets here. I'm going to go ahead and just forward crunch out. And, you know, hey, <laughs> that, that was great. I'm going to go ahead and secure Aqua Buff and jump down. You know, my tower is right here. And if Chimera does show up, you know, I'll, I'll be able to deal with him. But I'm going to just hang out and wait for this counter push. I, I've got no reason to back, really. And, you know, I'm, I'm still pretty healthy. Chimera does show up. We're going to go ahead and stun him. And then, you know, Quang shows up. we got to back off. Kalari's here, though. So, you know, we might be able to make something happen. And since she's got green buff, you know, hey, let, 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 let's go in on this. Sure enough, Kalari goes after that Chimera. We're able to take Chimera out. And then we're able to actually get quite a bit of damage onto Quang, but Kalari slow. You know, being in the middle of this minion wave, she did engage on that fight before I did. So she was taking all that minion damage. And that's what almost killed her, was being in that minion wave, you know, fighting. And if she had waited till I got there to get that first hit, she probably would have been able to stay in this fight. But is no big deal. Now we're going to go ahead and get a stun. We get another stun. <laughs> we use that rake. You can see th this is the kind of combination I was talking about. You get those double stuns and then use that big damage deal ability. I, I think that's a decent rotation. I would have never used that rotation really back before, but I think it's definitely a solid rotation and it definitely worked in that situation. Now I am going to go ahead and back and we throw on Mother Tree and Flame with our Nitro Boost. So we do have a little bit more sustain than we did. I'm actually going to head over. I was thinking about going on Iggy, but eh, eh, I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm just going to head back to my lane and just kind of bully my lane. I should be able to take Kwong at this point. You know, it, Kwong is pretty tricky. So, you know, sometimes I think, oh, you know, he's no problem. And then sometimes he just slaughters me. So, <laughs> uh, but I definitely want to scare him off. And you can see he, he, he is definitely worried about me. Now, Chimera is heading over, and, you know, I see Kwong, and I'm like, okay, maybe I can make something happen here. I, I missed that first stun, which feels bad, and then I notice Quang's heading over, so I definitely have to get out. We're able to forward crunch out, and, you know, hey, they're, they're not going to dive to my tower for me, which, you know, that works. I missed a bunch of abilities there, though, you know, I missed that knock-up, I missed my stun, Ugh, that feels bad. <laughs> you know, it, it is what it is, though. You know, I, 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 you miss abilities, guys. Just get out. You know, once you kind of miss a couple of abilities, just get out because you're going to lose that engagement, especially with two heroes there. You know, as long as Quang stayed away, I might have been able to deal with Chimera, but once Quang showed up, you know, I, I can't deal with him. Now, I'm going to go ahead again. You see, I use that same rotation where stun, stun, and then the, the, empowered I, I, right crunch I, I think it's right crunch but you know we we hit him with those two stunts and it, it does work I you know uh, <laughs> he chipped down to half health without ever even hitting me really and you know I, I think that is a solid 
way you can actually make that happen. But, eh, you know, we, we missed some abilities again there. So, <laughs> I don't know. Again, guys, if y'all are crunch mains, tell me tell me y'all's rotation. Let me, let me know down in the comments. And I, I have not played crunch since, you know, really, I haven't played him a whole lot in version 42 where, you know, his cooldowns got cut in half. So, you know, the the old way of using his combos were, you know, you did an ability, hit two or three times, and then did an ability, hit two or three times, and or you just went in and spammed all three abilities. Now it, it it's much faster, but it, it seems like ability hit, ability hit, ability hit. And it all kinds of comes off it comes off a of cooldown all at close to the same time. It's what it seems like, but you know, could be wrong. Now, Quang was there, and you could see, I again, I used that combo, and even though he's got a huge advantage of health over me, you know, we're able to do some work, keep him stunned for the most part, and this is going to allow us to kind of reset this wave and go back to base, put on some other cards. Kalari is chasing him down, so hopefully Kalari will be able to wrap up that kill. From here, I'm going to go ahead and throw on Heavy Hitter. Now, Heavy Hitter, uh, again, I feel that... Crunch's main abilities, you know, his main damage and everything are his abilities, not near as much as his basics, but since I am rushing or, you know, trying to focus one of the tribe, I feel Heavy Hitter is a very solid card. Now our solo or our duo lane was getting collapsed on and Kamir's jumping down here, so we're gonna go ahead and stun him. Uh, we then end up forward crunching him right to this, and we are eventually able to take him out. Steel missed his stun. I, he probably would have got away if, I, if he would have got that stun on me. But we are able to take him out. And if you see, I uppercut him right whenever he got his ult off. Oh, feels good. And we're able to wrap that up. Now, my team ends up going for Fangtooth, which now is a great time to go for Fang. But since our Revenant is backing, you know, he he's back. I, I'm going to go ahead and push this lane. You know, I, I think they should be able to handle Fang. And we really need to get some progress on this duo lane. So I'm just going to kind of hang out and help it. My lane is set against me at the moment. But hopefully if we can actually shove this lane, we will be able to make something happen. Now I did try to get that spare right there. Oh, the, the range on that. Uh, the range on Crunch's abilities is so deceiving, guys. Now I am trying to keep the tower between us, but I'm doing a terrible job because... Crunch is absolutely huge, guys, <laughs> and Sparrow ends up taking me out, which, you know, I never recommend dying for a T1, but, you know, I really wanted to get some progress there, and my death, you know, it's not going to hurt too much. That also kept my team, or the enemy team, off of Fang, and we were able to secure Fang during that time. So, a T1 and Fang for a uh, solo laner, you know, hey, I gotta say, that, that that's probably worth. Now, once I spawn back in, I kind of head to mid lane, but I'm gonna peel off, and Chimera's actually taking our black buff. So, you know, I, I, I can't allow that. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and go in on Chimera, and again, I, I'm waiting for those stuns to get off cooldown, and sure enough, we're... Guys, you, you cannot solo Crunch. Crunch is a very tough hero to solo. So, you know, if if even if you're someone like Chimera, it, well, especially Chimera, now that I've got that stun, you know, I can remove those stacks, and with that knockup, I can remove those stacks. You know, really, Crunch is a very hard hero to deal with. Now, we did get a team wipe, and, it, you know, I, I really wish that our team would have focused on a lane a little bit better it, it'll been nice but you know no big deal sparrow is here I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and dive her you know finish her off you know that uh, really that, that was payback you know <laughs> she got me earlier so just repaying the favor and we're gonna go ahead and head to my you know back to our solo lane and kind of get that lane situated now, I did not realize, but this lane is actually already set. You can see my minion wave is much, much bigger. But I'm going to go ahead and get it pushing faster. I want to keep this pressure up, especially since we just got that wipe. You know, let, let, let's go ahead and keep that pressure up. You can see we, we've got another minion wave spawning in. So that's going to be about two and a half, three minion waves uh, that are going to stack up and go into that T2. 
So hopefully with that massive wave, we'll be able to make a lot of progress happen. Iggy heads over to me, and guys, I, I just missed a bunch of abilities, and I knock him right back into his turns because I'm awful. That, that was definitely not planned. It, it worked out, though, but it wasn't planned. And we're able to take him out. You know, that, that actually goes back to playing on computer. This, this might be the first time I've played Crunch since I got on PC, and... Doing forward crunch with right click, I don't know, it, it, it seems wrong to me, but... Now, my team is going to be able to take out that Sparrow, so I, I'm just not even going to head over there. I focus on Steel, and you can see those stuns, guys. Uh, 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 Steel didn't stand a chance, especially with my team there. And that wave that I pushed earlier in my solo lane, you can see Quang is over there having to deal with that. He's forced to deal with that. That's going to allow us to get a very easy T2, and especially having those couple of kills, you know, that, that that's absolutely huge. This was a just huge rotation, and, you know, the enemy team ends up surrendering. Now, I've played a few matches with Crunch, and they've all been very short one way or another, and I thought this was probably the better one, so I went ahead and made this. Sorry for the short video. Crunch is an absolute beast, and I really like this deck, so if you're thinking about getting into Crunch, definitely try it out. Well, if y'all had enjoyed, show me some love, leave me a comment, think about subscribing, join our Discord, I'd love to play with y'all, and as always, guys, I'll see y'all in the next video.